welcome back to the second part of the Java Minecraft bucket server plugin tutorials using Java. And we are going to get to the player listening class right now to make our awesome plugin which basically turns everything into gold. Perfect. Alright, so let's get to the player listening class. The first thing would be to actually implement um, a listener. And we need to import listener as well. So, listener, it's again kind of an event. And uh, now let's get to the actual coding part we're going to do here. So, the first thing would be to actually de have another variable, some s variable setups. So, um, I'm going to use gold maker and we're going to make this plugin again. Who would have guessed? And now we are actually going to make the logger log dot get logger no logger dot get logger logger dot get logger and then I'm going to set this to Minecraft awesome okay and we actually need to import this I'm an idiot ah uh, oh god I'm an idiot I guess no wait uh, what am I doing wrong here do I have to import this? I totally forgot about this. Oh really? It's weird. Oh, hold on a minute. Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay. Uh, yeah, lol. I mean log. Okay, sorry about this. Uh, I want to finish this today, so... Let's hurry up a little, uh, yeah, because we're gonna make the public player listener and we're gonna do this for the goat maker instance. And now, uh, plugin equals to instance. Perfect. So now we have this toggle sing thing set up. That's perfect. And now we are going to add an event handler. Even there's an event handler, just like that. And event handler isn't imported yet, so we're gonna do this right now. Not possible. So next time, uh, public void uh, on player interact. So whenever the player interacts, this is going to happen. And of course, we're gonna add a player inter interact event. And we have this little bit top. Okay, nice. All right, now here comes the import part again. Nice. I don't know what it just did. Should work. Should work. Technically. And now we're gonna put if plugin dot enabled. So if that's set to true, then um, this is going to happen, my friend. We are going to add a block variable, so we're going to make this block block equals event. So block of the type block, the variable is called block of the type block event dot, and this is going to equal to event dot get click block. So the block you click, that we're going to do something with that block. Okay, so let's import this. Why is that event handler? Okay, now now it's working. Ha! Perfect. Now that's going to be a warning because we're not actually using it right now, but don't worry about this. Um, all right, so block block event dot get blocked, and now here comes the first part. So if event dot uh, get action action equals action dot right click right click mm -hmm, block. Then, first we need to import this again. Okay, so if someone writes, right clicks a block, we are going to make this to gold. So, how do we do this? We're gonna put block because this equals to event.get click block. So, block.set type ID. And now you need the ID of the block. Uh, you can simply go ahead and just, you know, kind of. Search for this. So, uh, how do you do this? All right, like, how's what is the ID? It's uh, 41, if I'm, blah, if I'm not mistaken. This is going to be a gold block, by the way, not gold or a gold block. Okay, so that's kind of important. So every single block will be turned into a gold block then. 
And guys, that's really all about it right now. So there's really not much to tell right here. Um, that's it. I can, I'm, I'm sorry I can't show you this because my frame rate would drop like crazy. So I'm very sorry that I can't actually show you this. But this this actually worked. But I'm going to show you how to export this now and do a lot of other stuff. So that's going to be quite well. And what we can actually add as well, we can add a little message. So in case you want to have a little message, then you can actually do this, I guess. So we're going to add player um, sender. Uh, dot send message. I don't even know if I haven't imported it. Um, we're gonna add a chat color. Chat color dot. Let's let's take a nice little blue. Uh, yeah. Uh, turned into gold. Simple as that. Tur turned into a gold block would be okay. Alright, bam. So now we need to import this real quick. Import it as an entity. And import sender. Ah, oh, I have to create a variable for this. God damn it. Um, okay. We can do, yeah, we can do this a little differently. I'm sorry about this. We can do this a little better. Event.get player, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, that works. Perfect. Yes, no errors. Wonderful. So that's it, guys. This is already about it. Um, I'm going to show you how to get this to work. So the first thing would be to actually save this up here. And now, in order to get this to work, we need another thing. And somehow, I'm not using pl the player variable. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm not a uh, player variable. Variable. It's not a variable. Okay. So now everything is checked. Make sure you don't have any warnings or any errors here. That's pretty important. And uh, what we're going to do now is we are going to need to create a plugin.yml file. So let's. I, I'm just going to leave the form of this in the description. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, no cancel. I'm sorry. Uh, just take this, my black optimizer. So let's just open this. Okay. And now I'm gonna use this. And now we need to right click the block maker, go to new file, and we're gonna call this plugin.yml. Just hit enter. And now I'm just going to. <sighs> now I'm turn everything into gold. And the command is obviously not going to be block optimizer, it's going to be gold maker. And we're gonna use me.ravages, and now we have to actually change this, and it's going to be me.ravages.goldmaker. Since I called my class the same, it is actually Goldmaker as well. So just like that. And the whole name of the plugin is actually Goldmaker as well. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so the version is not 2.0, it is 1.0 or whatever. And you can put your name in here, so you made the plugin, I just helped you to understand this. And as you can see, you can do a lot more with this, so, um, okay, real quick, I'm going to show you something pretty, pretty cool. How to do this on just some of the blocks, so whenever you click, like, grass or whatever, then it's going to turn into gold, alright? Um, just, no, wait, no, ah, okay, I'm going to show you this later on, so... Yeah guys, this is already about it, and now I'm going to show you how to export it, go to File, Export, and we need to import this, export this as a JAR file. Now we have the gold maker, and uh, you actually have to make the JAR file, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and call this goldmaker.jar, and I'm going to put this on my desktop right here, as you can see. JAR creation failed, interesting, cool. Oh yes, of course, What's pre this is pretty important. You actually have to right click it and refresh this. Every time you add an external file or anything, you have to refresh this. It's pretty important. I, I usually mess that up as you could see here. So um, let me just go ahead and make this again. Uh, hopefully it's going to work now. So kind of this is like the fix to it. Uh, it's kind of a little tricky and sucks. I know this, but there's no other way, I guess. Cool maker And jar already exists. Do you want? Yes, of course. Why not? It's already gold maker or jar file. Oh, that's fucked up. Okay, so here we have the goldmaker.jar file, and what you just need to do, you go to games, then Minecraft, craft bucket, so where do you have the folder, and just 
drag and drop this into the plugins folder right here. I'm not going to do this because I don't need the plugin really, so yeah, <laughs> just something you can do and then you can just start the server and if there are any errors up here, like whenever you start the server, then uh, you mess something up, like forgot to reference a class or something. So yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you like that. Um, please leave a like in the and all this and if you haven't subscribed then please do so I'm gonna post more tutorials and all this later so uh, yeah guys see you later bye bye